Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome to part three of how I am surviving the bear market um, and the strategies that I'm using. Um, in part one, we talked about um, consolidating projects. Um, in part two, we talked about the dollar cost averaging levels and how to set them, how I set them, and, and the things that I do to keep myself out of the charts all day long. And in part three, I want to talk to you guys about uh, when's enough enough. Uh, when when you're in a project and you have dollar cost average your, your way in and you spent your um, money that you've had set aside to two dollar cost average into this particular project at the same time you should under you should know um, at what dollar amount and what tokens and how many tokens you believe um, enough is enough and when you are fully invested into a project and you um, know that you had x amount of dollars set aside and you wanted to put them in at x in, at x levels and that is enough right and it's okay to say um on a particular project that i have invested all i'm gonna invest into this particular project and i'm comfortable with where i'm at in this particular project and if the price continues to drop, of course, you uh, reevaluate that position and reevaluate that situation. But if you don't decide to invest any more money into a project because you believe that you have enough tokens and enough dollar value um, in, a, in a project then, and it continues to go down, it's OK. Don't panic. Um, if you've done your research, um, and you believe in the project and you know where the project's going and you know that it's going to recover it's okay if you decide not to invest anymore um, in that particular project um, because you believe that your position is is solid or it's okay to reevaluate that situation and say the price has gone down to a point where i think i'm going to actually better my position in this particular project you have to make that evaluation and then set new if you make the evaluation that you want to um, continue to dollar cost average your way down then um again go back to step two of that set your dollar cost average levels and um get your alerts and, and put in the money that you believe that you want to invest into that particular project if you don't want to continue to dollar cost average down because you're okay with where you're at then that's okay too um because you've done your research you know about the project you know how strong it is you know when the market turns around that that project's going to be fine you believe in that so um that's okay too but know when enough's enough know when you have um invested enough know that you haven't over leveraged yourself and know that you're comfortable in the position um and haven't also estimate where you believe that the project will be in the bull run where do you believe that the project will end up in a bull run and then and then make your assessment on whether or not you think that you have enough tokens based on that projection and it's all a projection you could be right you could be wrong but at least you're doing it based on um, some research and education so um know when enough's enough know when you've overextended yourself know if you want to go back in know if you want to just sit on the sidelines for a little while so that's um step three of how i'm surviving the bull market is i have a target for each particular project and i know when enough's enough for me i know when i'm not going to invest anymore in a project i know when the price gets to a certain point it doesn't matter to me whether it goes up or down i'm secure in my position and of course we'll reevaluate that as we go but i know where i want to be and I know when enough's enough and know when enough's enough in a project. That doesn't mean that you have to exit the project. Just know that you're secure in your investment in that particular project. Um, and don't let anybody, you know, talk to you about you should be investing more. You should be doing this. Listen, you know when enough's enough for you. You know when you're secure. You know your financial situation. You know, based on your research, um based on your um analysis of the project what is good for you what price points are good for you and how much money you have to invest so that's part three is just know when enough's enough or know when you have to reevaluate on whether you have to um maybe 
deviate some money from another project to put in another project to, you know, dollar cost average even further down. So just put no when enough's enough and it's okay to call it when you want to call it and be secure when you want to be secure. And um, it's so it's fine. But again, not chart watching um, because you're securing your investment and you're securing your position is a good feeling in a bear market. So with that, that's step three in the process. No one enough's enough. And with that, you guys have a great day. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found some value out of this. Um, part three in the process. Like the channel, subscribe to the channel and share this out. And uh, we'll keep coming at you guys um, with some more. I think I'm, there's two more parts. I think it's going to be a five part series. So um, we think there's two more parts. Welcome to part three. Thank you. Bye.